2017 NBA Finals. Mm -hmm. What the hell was you doing? So, I've been waiting to really like dissect it because I, and, and I've been asked this question in certain, in certain situations, but I never felt comfortable enough like I do in this, and obviously in this element to say what I really wanted to say. The game is tied, but it's five other times earlier in that season when we were put in the same situation. First thing we do, we get the rebound, we call timeout. All right, bet, get the ball to Brown, space out, he gonna make it work. What, what better chance we got? Long story short, don't go that way. We had to fight the... Y'all see what it is, man. Salute to uh, J.R. Smith, to the whole I Am Athlete uh, podcast and the show. I love what these brothers are doing, man. First of all, welcome back to N-O-R-E-K. We back with another hot topic. As you can see, the title from just me playing a little clip, Fair Use, Fair Use Only. Um, J.R. Smith talks NBA, future, da-da-da-da-da. Um, when I say da 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 da, I mean that he expounded on a bunch of different, um, different topics and gave his own personal insight on some and also his own personal experience. But me watching that, that interview, now, first of all, man, I've always had a level of respect for JR on the court, never knew him. This is like up close and personal, getting to sit down with these brothers. This that's why I said salute to I am athlete, man. They doing their thing, you know, bigger than a podcast. They say Brandon Marshall, salute to you, bro. Um, but yeah, this brother right here, phenomenal athlete. Obviously, can't take nothing from him. His accolades speak for themselves. But to hear his mindset on how he really, how he's evolved, because he even said he wasn't always there. He wasn't always here where he's at at this level as far as his thought process. Um, but that's the that's the, the definition of evolution, of growth. You know, when, when, you're, when you're a child, you do childish things. When you become a man, you move as such. Now, his, his whole aura is different. You know, to some it may seem like, oh, it's always been him because y'all knew him personally. Y'all probably played ball with him. Grew up with him, went to school with him, et cetera, et cetera. You know, the brother expound on the fact that he's now going back to college, to HBCU. Shout out to the HBCU. Um, the fact that he's once sat next to, and I'm going to let y'all hear that part. Let me go on fast forward to that part. But right there, he was just giving a breakdown of uh, 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 NBA Finals that, in his own words, he blew it. You know, but... The thing about it is, did he really blow it, or you know, did he um, did he just second guess himself? So I'm gonna let him explain a little bit more, but he's gonna jump into another topic right here that's very important that I want y'all to pay very close attention to. Let me see if I can get right to that clip, that way I don't have to play too much of it. Fair use, fair use, fair use. What happens. That's right. We stop playing. We in, we're in there. We go, oh, we're going we to ask the owners for it. We're going to ask the owners for it. Stop asking them for <clears throat> What are we asking them for? I went down the line. No book. And you can, you can show, you can show, you can ask these dudes if not. I got Paul George sitting right here. I got DeMar DeRozan sitting right here. I got Russell Westbrook sitting right here. I'm literally sitting next to all of these dudes who are L.A. guys. Salute I'm like, bro. I'm not counting your chips, but everybody else is. So you make 200, you make 200, you make 175, you make 150, you make 180. Why don't y'all have your own gym? Why we gotta go to Why we gotta go to UCLA to work out in LA every? All right, y'all heard what he said. I'm sitting next to four, four of my colleagues, my teammates, my brothers, whoever, my homeboy, my associate, whatever. Same. You look like me. You talk like me. We come from pretty much the same background the same geographics right and this is where it get deep because this is what i've been saying for the longest but again people with different bigger platforms they've been saying this too like salute to kwame brown you know who, who hit on a lot of these topics you know what i mean but um why don't we have our own 
you guys are making, and when he said 150, 175, 200, he ain't talking about dollars, $200, or two, he talking about 150 M's, 180 M's, 200 million. This is what these brothers are making, right? But I'm going to let him expound a little bit more on it. Let me go on and re rewind that just a little bit so y'all can hear the full context of it. But we were in the, uh, in the bubble, George Floyd happens. That's right. We stopped playing. We in, we're in there. We go, oh, we're going we to ask the owners for it. We're going to ask the owners for it. Stop asking them for <clears throat> What are we asking them for? I went down the line. No bullshit. And you can, you can show, you can show, you can ask these dudes if not. I got Paul George sitting right here. I got DeMar DeRozan sitting right here. I got Russell Westbrook sitting right here. I'm literally sitting next to all of these dudes who are L.A. guys. I'm like, bro. I'm not counting your chips, but everybody else is. So you make 200, you make 200, you make 175, you make 150, you make 180. Why don't y'all have your own gym? Why we gotta go to Why we gotta go to UCLA to work out in LA every time? Hmm. You got your own. You got y'all all come from the exact same community. You 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 want to inspire kids that look like you? All it takes is five of them. Five. 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250. What bank gonna turn us down? We about to build this whole shit out for our community. We're gonna build gyms, rec centers, start leagues, and all that. Who going who's gonna stop us? We got the money. We don't have the mindset. Our mindset, we'd rather go exact same community. You 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 wanna inspire kids that but everybody else is. So you make 200, you make 200, you make 175, you make 150, you make 180. Why don't y'all have your own gym? Why we gotta go to Why we gotta go to UCLA to work out in LA every time? You got your own. You got y'all all come from the exact same community. You 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 want to inspire kids that look like you? All it takes is five of them. Five. 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250. What bank gonna turn us down? We about to build this whole shit out for our community. We gonna build gyms, rec centers, start leagues, and all that. Who gonna Who's going to stop us? We got the money. We don't have the mindset. Our mindset, we'd rather go throw $60,000 in, in, in the club. In the you make 175, you make 150, you make 180. Why don't y'all... Y'all probably wonder why I keep rewinding this part right here. This part is so important. So important. For a lot of people that's going to hear it once and they be like, yeah, he right. But no, let it sink in. Let it sink in. Cause it's the same thing going on with with us that's not making the hundred M's, the two hundred M's, the fifty M's a year. Like you know, we may have, we may make fifty thousand, sixty thousand, eighty thousand, thirty thousand. But if we sitting amongst each other, we we can talk about everything else. About you know, I'm finna go get this whip. I'm finna go get this nice this nice bust down. This nice chain. This nice ring. I'll, I'll just holler that old girl. Woo, 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 woo. Like anything else we could talk about. But when it comes to the elephant in the room, everybody want to want to run away and shy away from it. So I salute Jr. for getting on here and talking that talk, man. We need more brothers like this that have a voice. And the reason he has a voice. Is because it's his voice, but also it makes it more prominent because he did play in the NBA. So he ain't just talking, jaw jacking, just, you know, blowing smoke. He's speaking from experience, from things that he's actually witnessed. So again, for me, me keep rewinding that part. Message, <laughs> come on, message, pay attention, y'all. Have your own gym. Why we gotta go to, why we gotta go to UCLA to work out in LA every time? You got your own, you got, y'all all come from the exact same community. You, you, you want to inspire kids that look like you. All it takes is five of them. Five. 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250. What bank going to turn us down? We about to build this whole shit out for our community. We're going to build gyms, rec centers, start leagues and all that. Who going, who's going to stop us? We got the money. We don't have the mindset. Our mindset, we'd rather go throw $60,000 in, in, in the club, in the strip club. Go throw $60,000 than go feed 2,500 people in the hood. Think about it. I've done it. I've been, I, can't, I can't sit here and be like, oh, man, I'm a hip. Bro, 
Bro talking that realism. If y'all ain't feel, if y'all can't feel that, I don't care what race you are, what ethnicity, what background you come from. Because this brother, he may look like the stereotypical, oh, he's a thug or he's, he's, he's from the hood. He's not. And he expounded on that even in this interview. The brother grew up in the suburbs. Dad been working construction. Grandfather been working construction all his life as far as he can remember. So he didn't have to go through some of the the troubled times of walking to school in the L.A. district, you know, getting banged on where you from or, you know, in the South, certain certain situations that may uh, occur growing up in the inner city or in the hood, as they call it. He didn't have to go through that. But again, he chose to he chose to include himself on certain things, which as far as like the sports, he went like he said, he lived 20 minutes away from go watch the interview. Go watch the interview. I am athlete. Salute to them brothers, man. Salute to Brandon Marshall, man, for doing this thing, for bringing brothers on here and actually letting them get that off their chest. Because, again, that, that all goes back to part of that mental health that we battle and we shy away from, again, to address the elephant in the room. Address the elephant in the room, man. I just wanted to play a little piece of that, man, and let, you know, salute these brothers and say keep doing your thing, bro. Like, if nobody get it, man, I get it. I hear you. And I'm nowhere near the status that you brothers are on financially yet. You did? Yeah, yet. Let's say that. However, if I can get it and I'm not there, and a lot of people may say, well, yeah, that's why you can get it because you, you don't have the kind of money and the responsibility because to whom much is given, much is required, right? Even in finances, to whom much is given, don't let that go over your head. Much is required. But again, this brother got it. This brother got M's in the bank. Brother probably got multiple businesses. You know what I mean? And still talking the way he talking, not afraid of uh, jeopardizing some image. You dig? Not jeopardizing some image that we try to live up to a facade when everybody can't relate to that. Everybody can, but everybody can relate to realness. When you hear realness, it don't matter where it's coming from. It could be coming from a baby, from a stranger, from an old... 90 year old woman or 90 year old man it can be it, it's i'm telling you wisdom man it comes in the strangest form so take it with a grain of salt and don't let it don't let it just go in this air and out the other for you up and coming athletes for you up and coming artists movie stars so on and so forth that's going to end up making that type of money and even more that's going to supersede that don't forget even if you didn't come from there yourself even if you didn't have to experience some of the inner city uh, uh, propaganda and, and things that go on on a day-to-day -day basis understand that somebody in your family had to go through that in order for you to get where you at whether it was your great great grandfather your great your great grandfather your father your uncle your brother like a lot of us can relate to these type of things bro but we choose not to address the elephant in the room stop being scary Tap in with your, with your true self, man, and walk in the light. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I ain't got to, if, if me and a few brothers sitting around and, okay, you got $100, I got $100, you may have $300. We can still go in on, a, on something together, but we don't do that with each other. It's all about what I got. Oh, well, I'm cool over here. I got my little, you know what I'm saying, 15 racks in the bank. I just hit me a little play. I'm good until that little money go, go out. We see that. We've been seeing that. That EDD money that ran out with y'all asses. You feel me? So now it's like, okay, I shoulda, coulda, woulda. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. You have all these great ideas. And I'm a, I'm a victim of that too. I'm guilty of that too. I got all these great ideas until I get some money, the money in my hand. Oh, when I get the money, I'm going to do this, do that. You get the money and you don't do half of that. You may do one, if any. So I say all that to say, man, salute to these brothers again, man. But, yeah, it's your boy N-O-R-E-K. Just had to tap in real quick and give y'all a little snippet of this. And, uh, man, salute to these brothers, bro. Salute to these brothers. Like, hats off to these brothers. For real, for real. I, I need to see more of this on YouTube. This is what I was talking about, the positivity, the encouragement. You know what I'm saying? The game, the knowledge that these brothers are dropping, bro. Go back and watch this. If you don't watch none, none of their stuff, and I'm sure millions of people probably watch it, but for those that haven't tapped in, go check out this interview right here. 
It's on YouTube. J.R. Smith, I am athlete. That's all you got to type in. Or just type in J.R. Smith or I am athlete, either one. And it's going to pop up on there. Man, get, get a brother his flowers, man. Salute to you, big bro. Hopefully one day I'll run into you in person and get, be able to shake your hand and commend you on just the words of wisdom, the words of encouragement that you dropped me. Bro, that's big. That's big. Even you, even you uh, exposing and, and exposing yourself about when you had the incident or the accident, your second year in the league, and you had to go sit down for 20-something 20, 20 days, solitary confinement. A lot of people don't even know that about you, bro. A lot of people don't know that about you, what you were going through mentally because you just lost your best friend in a car accident. But you have to go sit in the pen. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. It gets deep, man. It gets deep. But, yeah, man, y'all salute, man, to these boys right here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Tell a friend to tell a friend, man. It's your boy N-O-R-E-K. Blah, da, da.